Hello. <laughs> there we are. Busy, busy oiling our saddle here. Yeah, we cleaned it all up while you guys were asleep. <laughs> a week of sleeping. And and now we're oiling it. When you oil a saddle that's this dry, and this saddle might have never had a drop of oil on it in its whole life. Yeah. And it's uh, really going to suck it up and turn it dark. So we'll start over there. we got some other parts over there. But if you guys haven't joined us before in this saddle uh, fiasco that we have going on, the first series of saddle videos hopefully we'll do some more but this one the first session that we had of it we deconstructed our saddle uh, we took our parts off that we needed to pulled a bunch of tacks out we had a, a, a nice question about when we were pulling tacks out and what do i do when i start to put the saddle back together so we'll have some answers on that today as we get our parts oiled and start putting them back on then the second part we showed uh, a little bit of cleaning and reconstructing some parts that we needed to put back together. So on the table we have our fenders and our skirts that we relined um, with some sheepskin underneath. Let's see, there's the fender we got. And we put uh, new uh, stirrup leathers on there, put blevins on there. Then he made some uh, stirrup leather hobbles. And here is our relined skirts. Got some latigos cut for it. And then just our other parts that will continue to get oiled up as we move along. And then Denny has some uh, other parts that we'll put together of our rosettes that we just clicked out of the other parts we have here. Or if you have a rosette punch, you can use those as well. Really changing the look of that saddle. Darkened it up. Yeah, it, it will darken it. And that might not be desirable to some people, but to, for this saddle, we're saving this saddle life. <laughs> yeah, and, and we talked about kind of in the beginning, it's a production type of saddle. You can see also that uh, we went ahead and put some buck stitching in around here. It was stitched in because our seat was lined, uh, but we took that. Well, it wasn't there. We didn't have anything to take off. We just replaced the stitching holes that were there and just put some buck stitch in there just to add some life to it, make it a little, look a little bit different. But it was a production saddle, and it was, if a saddle like this came into your shop, Denny, and they wanted to repair it, and it had no sentimental value to it, what would you probably end up telling the person? I would tell them that they can buy a saddle a lot cheaper than they can have me fix it. Yeah. This one. Yeah. So sometimes there's just not a reason to repair a saddle unless you, you just want to get experience, if it's something you're getting experience for. But if we got a saddle like this for nothing and we did the repairs on it, we're probably going to have more in the leather yeah. than... Well, than it would be. I, we could probably turn around and not feel guilty about it. What about 300 bucks to sell the saddle for? Yeah. And in reality, we'll have more than that into it. But if it's your own saddle, yeah, you know, I mean, your time is worthless, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always figured. Yeah. You know, if I was doing something for myself, it wasn't costing me anything. Yeah. But anyway, we're putting Neat's foot oil on this. And a lot of people think the Neat's foot oil will soften the leather, and it will do a little bit. What it does mostly is just lubricate the fibers. Uh-oh. I dumped it on the stool, so don't sit on that. Okay. But uh, I'll turn this saddle upside down, and I'll oil the, the gullet of the saddle and a little bit of this, uh, the bottom of this strainer. If it has a rawhide tree, a lot of times I'll, I'll just wipe a little oil on it. The rawhide generally won't take on much oil, but to, it always makes me feel better. Do you mind if I uh, do these skirts over here? Please do. All right. Please do. That'll kind of speed the process up. And <clears throat> the skirts, the part that's underneath the bar, you definitely want to oil them because they will... Even if you oil the rest of the saddle, they'll never get any more oil than what you're putting on them now when they're off the saddle. Underneath the bar, what do you mean by that? The <clears throat> Come over this part table. right here. Okay, this part right here, it, it's inaccessible when it's on the saddle. Yeah. So go. So, I put so oil on this outside part, but I need to make sure yeah, I oil this sure nice and good. Yeah, make sure you get oil there. All right. How's everybody doing on this Friday? Everybody doing good out there? Got some projects going on. Anybody been seeing the 20 crazy days that we've been having going on? Day number three. Like that. What Still some pretty on? good stuff left on there. What have you got on day number three? Super shears. 
Oh, the, the the scissors? Yeah. Oh, those are great. Everyone in this store carries a pair of those. Yeah, put them in our little tool pouch. I never use mine, but... I do when I'm cutting the bull, though. <laughs> Something I'm really good at. All right, I've got to. Just a little laugh out of Denny, and he says, "Got to be with this guy for another <laughs> forty-five minutes." His wife thinks he irritates me. <laughs> Can you imagine why? <laughs> well, I'm going to come over with Tony now. All right, I'll give you some room. Let me move that out of the way. Give you some room. What's the difference between neat food oil and neat food oil compound? Compound has some uh, actual petroleum distillates in it. Uh, pure neat foot oil does not. In reality, I'll give you guys a little lesson here. In reality, neat foot oil, if you look it up in the dictionary, it used to be rendered from hooves and shin bones of cattle. That's what it said. Huh. Nowadays, I'm sure they don't do that, but it's still animal fat. We're kind of turned away from the microphone here a little bit, so just make sure, just let us know if you can't hear us very well, and we'll try to do something different. I'm just taking some screws out here, some parts that I put together so I didn't lose track of them. Well, I got two coats of Neats foot oil on that. Let's see, we got another question coming. Can you spray the oil instead of wiping it on? You can, you can. What's the benefit of spreading it on like we are? Uh. Get a nice thick coat? Yeah, you get a little bit of penetration and, and you can control the amount of oil you put on it a little better. When you spray it, that much oil just goes on it. Think about all the oil that you put on the floor, it didn't go on the saddle. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, and you can, like if you've got one, one part that's a lot darker or uh, has a lot more oil in it already, Yeah. you might not want to put as much oil on that part as you do the rest yeah. of it. Here, come up here just a little bit. I'll try to get my fat head out of the way. Okay, but if you see, see this fender was very light colored, but this is gonna turn it really dark. I'm sure you've all seen a lot of really old saddles that are almost black. They started out this color, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, that dirt just kind of wears into it after a while. You can't really get it all the way out. The dirt does, and air and ultraviolet light will turn it darker, and every time you oil it, it'll turn it a little bit. So if you don't want your saddle to turn colors, don't take it out in the sunshine? Yeah, and never oil it. Correct. Correct. We'll just throw it away when you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to be hard not to take your saddle outside. I guess unless you have an inside horse. Is that like an inside dog? Yeah, that's an inside, or a cat. Yeah. yeah. I seen somebody on a YouTube video one time that had a, like a mini pony that th was in their house. They used one as a, this girl, I think, was allergic to dogs, and so she had a, a special, a service animal that was a pony. <laughs> a service ready. pony. Yeah. yeah. That'd be kind of cool. My, yeah. I know if my daughter needed one, that would be what she wants. Oh, Dad, I'm now allergic to dogs. Can I have a service pony? If you all notice, I go back to the oil can a lot, because every time... <clears throat> When you start spreading the oil, if you're having to rub it to get oil on it, you don't have enough oil on your rag. Especially this rough outside of the leather, it really soaks it up and that's brand new raw leather. It's never had oil on it. Nice. So we were talking in here earlier, and I'm going to get to it because we had a vet going on in the room. So I'm going to get to it. You probably can't hear the rest of the room giggling, but they, they're all smiling. You can take my word for it. Today's my birthday, Denny. Oh, well, happy birthday. I won't be as mean to you as I was going to be. <laughs> going to change your mind? Yeah. They wanted everybody to try to guess how old they thought I was. <laughs> so we'll put, we'll put that out there and see what happens. Well, see? you need to show your face. So the... Oh, okay. I'll stand here in front of our saddle. Yeah, look at those wrinkles. <laughs> Old man wrinkles. And tangled up teeth. That, that's, that's right. A dead giveaway. Yeah, I need to get a dead giveaway. <laughs> All right, back to the table. Back to the regularly scheduled programming. There you go. How long did it take? 11 minutes. Yeah. Who had 11 minutes in the room? Anybody? <laughs> Stacy said it was going to be in the first five minutes. Wrong. <laughs> I, I held out. It was hard, I bet it. I it was. <laughs> Michael, Michael got 38. 38. Thanks, Michael. 
of things. <laughs> He must know me. Uh, third branch on Instagram said 37. 37? Yeah, but 36. 36? How old do you think Cody is? Oh. Are you telling your Instagram people? Is that what we're... Oh, you had to let them know what we're guessing? Yeah. It's people, people on here. New people coming in? This has been a fun project, Denny, so I don't know if everybody knows why we kind of started it. Larissa brought this brought this saddle in. You might have seen her. We put out some uh, template acrylic templates, and she did some of the, uh, that's the, the female hands that you see in those how-to videos that we got on Facebook. Larissa is a craftsman, too, by the way. She is, does some amazing things. She look at a picture, and she'll put it together, and you'll look at it and be like, oh, my gosh. Better than I expected. She does a great job. But she had the saddle sitting in her barn, and her kids were using it. And uh, so we were talking about we needed an old saddle. I was thinking about doing some repairs because my daughter started riding. And here's where we ended up. She got saddle parts all over the table, and she's at school, not even helping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Larissa said, I've got an old saddle. I hope you fix it. We didn't, we didn't realize just what she was talking about. It's it's pretty old and in some bad shape. This one's got some staple marks in it still. Yeah. Yeah, in the age of this saddle, you know, this saddle isn't that old. I've worked on saddles that were well over 100 years old that were still in pretty decent shape. You know, this one just hadn't, there hadn't been any care given to it. What was that saddle that I was talking to you about? It was a Civil War era saddle that there were still quite a few of them around. A guy was asking what he thought, you know, what we thought it would be worth. There's just that a ton of them. McClellan saddle. Yeah, there's just a lot of them still that you can find on eBay. It's still in pretty good shape. Yeah, you know, and they are antique, but they really don't have a lot of value to them unless they're something special. Uh, you know, uh, belong to Robert E. Lee. Yeah, Robert E. Lee's saddle or something like that, you know. But uh, a lot of people are pretty proud of them, and I don't blame them for that. I mean, it's a piece of history. You know, they. <clears throat> Do we need to oil all these rosettes too? Yes, oil everything. Oil everything. Everything that's leather, other than the latigos. Never oil latigo, folks. What are we going to do to them instead? Saddle soap, and I've already saddle, saddle soaked them, but we'll do it again after we put them on. I know, I felt them when I got them out of the box, what you had done to them. That's your favorite it's your favorite uh, thing to use, I know. Well, I thought I had some rosettes sitting out here. There's a reason for it. It's it cuts good. It's good for the leather. And that's the that's what will soften this leather up more than anything. What's good for the goose is good for the leather. <laughs> Not quite how the saying goes. That's real poetic, Tony. <laughs> now I'm starting to let my age show that 37 and 38 and 36 are pretty close. Yeah, someone else gets 36. Also. 36. I was that old a couple of times ago. Yeah, Dude, that was on your last birthday, wasn't it? Yeah, one of the last. <laughs> Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. So you guys are pretty close. If you saw me in person and knew how I acted, you might guess younger, young at heart. I've been told that old leather, when you bend it and it cracks, it can't be saved. Is this correct? Uh yeah, you can never you can never bring it back to life, but you can help it. You know, a lot of people say soak it in neat foot oil. You know, and I've heard people say, yeah, they they actually dump their saddle in a barrel of oil. And uh, that's a big barrel of oil. It well, yeah, the harness makers used to used to keep a fifty five gallon drum of oil around, and they would actually dip their harness in it. And I've heard people say that they dump their saddles in it, but uh, that's really not going to help too much. All so you're going to do is saturate the leather and make it feel oily and greasy for the rest of its life and yours. We had a, yeah, thing. why did I slide off my saddle? Oh, it could have been that bucket, yeah. a barrel of oil I dumped yeah. in. Why do my pants always get dirty when I ride this saddle? <laughs> I always buy a new pair of pants because my, my pants are oily. Yeah. But we had a, we had, I brought a saddle in. 
uh, that old saddle that I bought and that fender at the bottom had had some splits in it. Uh-huh. But we put a patch on the back of it. Yeah, we put a patch on it. You can help it, you know, if it, once it starts to check and crack like that, though, you can never say it's not going to do that again. So there's another term for it, checking. Instead of instead of cracking, or checking and cracking pretty close to the same? Yeah, they're about the same thing. Okay. We should have put some gloves on before we put all this oil all over our yeah. hands. Okay. I just didn't want to get your tools all oily. That's You're all. old enough, you can stand oil now. <laughs> you got two people from you Farmington, need. Missouri. Farmington, Missouri, two people. Are they watching on the same YouTube feed? I don't know. Or just across town from each other? <laughs> Hey, Tony, someone said they need to get an SLC shirt. Do we have any SLC shirts? If you go on the website down, uh, shop now, and then SLC production maybe, and then there's an SLC merchandise. You can find some some coffee and bamboo mugs on there, traveler mugs, and there's also uh, like the shirts that I have on. Except for yours is not going to come with a... Uh, oil, oil stain? Well, it's not an oil stain. It's, the wa- it's actually the water stain when... Uh, my other daughter and I were in here making a belt for her. She's, we splashed some uh, water stain up on my shirt. All right, can I borrow your paper towel? Yes. Thanks, Abigail. Yeah. You sure give them back. How about those stir pops? No, they don't need it. Don't need That's it. That's an oil tan leather. It's an oil tan. It's already got oil in it. Is that what you're it, saying? Yeah, any any leather that's, that's uh, finished leather and... Uh, like a, a, an oil tan leather or a latigo or a harness leather. Yeah. You really don't want to oil it. It'll just make it stretch. Yeah. You know, saddle soap the dickens out of it. The know. snot. Yeah. Saddle soap the snot out of it. Yeah. Because Denny just letting her fly today on a Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> this is Friday the 13th. I know. I was born on Friday the 13th as well. So, if was, you've my, ever... so was my ex-wife, by the way. <laughs> 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 that's why that's why you get annoyed by me, didn't you? <laughs> okay. All right. We're Let's come back over here. Up. You can see how the saddle itself, that oil has come down uh, into the into the leather itself and then kind of got it. It's not really oily at, at all on there anymore. Just yeah, if, nice. If you're that's another thing. If you're uh, oiling a piece of leather and it just puddles on top and doesn't penetrate, you aren't doing any good. Yeah, so you can quit anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you just got oil on the yeah. floor. All okay. right, how are we going to put this together? First thing we're going to do is put the stirrup leathers on. And I know why we're going to do this, and we talked about it before. How do we know what way our fender should go? Well, it's kind of self-explanatory. Okay, well, you know, if you put explain it to other selves. If, All right, here I can hold the other one. No, hold this one. Okay, I'll hold this one. All right. If I put this fender on, does that look correct? I mean, not really, no. Oh. That's because we put the other parts, but we got our whoop de doos the whoop de doos stuff, yeah. go towards the back. Yes. If if you're repairing a saddle, you probably know what a fender ought to look like. Which, well, you which should. Which direction it go, should go. <laughs> if you put it in backwards, you will realize it pretty quick. <laughs> So redo it. So why would we put this on before we do anything else? Because if we put our put our skirts on, which will be the next step after this, it's really hard to get these uh, stirrup Switch over to leathers, three there, Chad. To get these stirrup leathers up into the tree. So I got to pull the seat back, and then I'm going up and over the tree. Yes. Let's see if we can see underneath there, Denny, so we can see that part of it. Step out of the way there. Oh. There we go. He gonna, he's gonna smack me in a second. No, keep holding. Oh, okay. Keep holding it up. Uh, if you, yeah, it's either gonna be with his hand or stirrup leather that he's gonna smack me with. See this stirrup leather hobble? You want the stirrup leather to come out on top of it and not underneath it. Okay, so the front side of it. So the the hobble would be between. If we didn't put a skirt on there, the hobble would be between uh, the horse and the stirrup leather. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now we can set it back down. All right. You can see what we've got there. See both sides of the stirrup leather come out over over that hobble. There you go. Okay. Nice. Now let's put the other one on. I'll let you put the other one. All right. On. Here, let's take a look at let's take a look at this fender part of it. So the front of the saddle over here, and the whoop de doos on the fender at the back. Yeah. This is the technical term of those. That's your. Uh, what well, your your cuff guard for your pants cuffs, and that's really all a fender is for. It's it just to look good and to keep your pants a little cleaner. 
Keep your pants clean. I think you answered this question earlier, but someone asked how how to condition LIGO leather. What's the difference? No, 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 how to condition. Saddle soap. I, y'all harp on that. Uh, and and I like to paste saddle soap. The, the uh, glycerin saddle soap will clean it really well, but it doesn't add any lanolin to it to speak of. And the paste saddle soap has lanolin in it, and it, uh, it'll make it softer every time you use it. Seriously. So I've put stir, stirrup leathers on before when we had skirts, and all we were doing was fixing uh, the stirrup leathers on it, and that was way easier. Oh yeah. With all without all the other if you're gonna take parts a, on there. If you're just gonna replace the stirrup leathers and and not to reline the skirts and take the skirts off. Yeah. When I I'll always run a piece of saddle string through the last hole in uh -huh. here. And when I pull it out that saddle string will be across there. Yeah. And then I can use it use that to thread the, the new stirrup leather back on. So you're feeding this part through and you but you've got uh say say you got you got a saddle string on yeah. it. probably not that big and then you just shove that up in there and, and it drops over the tree so you can reach and pull yeah pull when it you back pull down. it out that that saddle strings laying across the tree nice that's a good little trick yeah okay now what now let's put the skirts on should let's we, show let's show what well, let's show what we did on it switch over to two there chad Move your belly out of the way there, Denny. That's hard to do. taking shots at each other today. So we had to replace our uh, shearling on there. We didn't We didn't use a natural shearling. We used a... Uh, we used a Codel acrylic. Codel acrylic. And then we just followed back on our Class 4 Cobra machine back in the stitching holes as well as, well as we could. So it turned out pretty good. Yeah, it turned out really well. All right. I'm, I'm thrilled. Okay, next. This saddle has a pocket in the back. Is, I don't know if you can see this, Yeah. but there's a pocket that your tree will fit to in the back and a pocket in the front. That's different than a lot of saddles will be, but it's, it's more, like, this is like, more like an in-skirt rig saddle than it is a D-ring rig saddle. I see. But that, that doesn't matter. All it's right, doesn't gonna matter. It's going to work out right. All right. Set our skirt down there. Let's get the, the back of the, the bars on there first. All right. And then we'll probably have to use a screwdriver or something to uh, stretch it back out. Stretch it back out. Let me get one. Yeah, it's supposed to fit tight. So. Well, it's definitely going to do that. There it goes. There. It slipped right in there. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see when you're, it'll, there'll be tell, telltale marks there where you can locate it mm -hmm. where it used to be. Uh, let's see if we can see it right right there, Denny. Yeah, right here you can see there'll be like a, a, a line between light and dark. You can see where the old skirts were. Oh, on the, up yeah. on the inside of it there. Oh, yeah. let's see. I don't know if I can turn it right. So go point at what we're looking at again there. Well, there's a line right here. Yeah. Where you, it'll be light below and Sorry dark for the up above where where the uh, where the light hit it. You know, yeah. it, the leather will be darker there. All the Instagram people are over there in the corner on something else and they can't see nothing. So, so I apologize for that. <laughs> All right, let's. But before we nail anything down, we're going to put the other skirt on. Put the other skirt on. I hate to go out with only one skirt on. <laughs> well, some people would frown on it. Some people would frown with only one skirt on. All right, we got her started in there. Push it back to me. Some dummy would get the finger out of the way. All right, I got. Yeah, fingers are hard on you. Yeah. All right. Well, Everybody's looking at your backside, Denny. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a wrestling match a lot of times. Yeah. But now we're on there. Now, what I generally do is bring it over to the table. And so if we look on the, let's look at the back real quick and just, I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe you can. 
a little bit here. There's another piece that goes over this, right? Yes, the, the back these, jockey. The back jockey, because this doesn't fit quite. You can see a little bit of the underneath of the uh, cantle leather that comes down right there. So the back jockey covers that up? Yep. All right. Now what Hopefully we do? it does. Yeah. It used to. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully okay, it still does. I'm just going to turn it upside down. Get everything out of our way, and I've got some nails here. So we had a question before we were pulling out a bunch of staples and things like that. How are we going to attach this back? Uh, with not nearly as many staples as it, no staples whatsoever. We're going to put a few nails in it. I'm going to put a couple of screws in up here at the front mm -hmm. and a couple of screws at the back. Okay. And uh, that's all that's going to hold it on. If you notice, those pockets are what's actually going to hold mm -hmm. it on. An old saddle maker told me once stuff rarely falls up. Yeah, it's kind so of So you don't need much to hold it on. Okay. All right. Hammer and some nails. All right. So what kind I'm of gonna do. Uh, can you see what I'm doing here? I don't know. Let me let me move this camera just a little bit over here and see if I can switch it and don't switch yet, Chad. Alright, nope. What I can do, I can see over there what I've got. I'm just gonna drive a spike. This is a spike. Somewhere. That there is a spike. And uh, it just what this is is just a scratch all. You can use a carpenter scratch all. You can use an old ice pick if you got one. But I'm right there where I used to be now. And I'm just going to take some nails. These are about an inch long. And I'm going to drive a nail in right here. So what's your spike doing? Just holding it in place? It just let me pry that, that skirt up okay. to where it needed to be. I'm just using it for a lever. Okay. I've got that side of the skirt located. What kind of nails are we using here? These are these are just about four penny uh, uh, wood nails. Yeah, common nails. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the tree, our tree is composite or got some wood in it. Or this is a wood. This is strictly a wooden tree. So what I would use the same thing in a rawhide covered tree or a plastic tree or a fiberglass tree. Using wood nail. Yeah, just using nail. They don't make regular saddle nails. <laughs> they make wood nails. I haven't seen them at Lowe's or anything like that. No. But I'm going to put a spike in this side again. Okay, now I've got them both. I'm going to kind of scrutinize them here. Make sure they're both at the same height up and down. I'm going to drive the nail in there. You just put one nail in there? Yeah, I just put one nail in. And I didn't bring any extra screws, so I'm going to use a couple of these. Well, we'll probably just put one side together as much as we can, and then we can let you get some more screws. I'll let you do some stuff while I go get a couple of screws. Oh, okay. Well, I can certainly mess something up. Okay. Now what I'm going to now what are you doing? Grab your spike in again? I want to go to the back. Oh, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself there. All right, you got to you got to locate the the back of your cantle here, which is the back of the saddle. This part right here, and you want to <clears throat> you want to drive your spike in so it goes into the cantle itself. Into the cantle part. Yeah, into the wooden part of the. So cantle. all you did was feel in our gap that we have right here, and feel where your cantle is, and then go back into the skirt just a little bit and drive your spike. Right, and, and so that I'm, I can feel that cantle there pretty easy. Yeah, and that's where I'm going to put this screw is right there where I drove this spike. Oh, so you're going to pull your spike back out? You just made mm -hmm. a big hole in there so you can right take your old. Hold. All right, go forward though. There you go. Nice. But it sucked that up there, and that's all it's going to hold the back of this saddle. That's all it needs. Find, find your cannel, drive your spike, make you a starter hole. 
Are you using a stainless screw? Uh, you can. Stainless would be the best. Definitely. A lot of people feel like a regular steel screw or a steel nail is better than stainless or galvanized. Yeah. Because in time they will rust. Yeah. And that actually grips what they're what they're driven into. So when I go and I feel on this now, I'm not real. I don't feel that screw head at all. No, because it's that it's more than flush. Yeah. So nothing we need to do there. We can just pull our pull our wool back over. Yep. Pull the wool back over the eye. Yeah, pull the wool over. <laughs> Now I'm going to go back to the front here, and I'm going to drive a couple more nails in into this gullet just just to hold it down. Yeah. But uh, you don't Let's see where we any... going. Hold yeah. on. Let me spin it around here so I can see we can see what we're looking at. Oh, Chad, switch cameras. So where are we looking at on this side? Yeah, just just a couple nails through here. So back in the nail back in the nail category. Okay. Yeah. It's hard to do with stationary cameras. Yeah. I should take one off and try to drive it around. And I, make was, every, I was going to suggest dizzy. to you it might be a good <laughs> idea to have one that you can just carry around. Diddy the cameraman expert. Not only do I do saddles, <laughs> I can do the cameras at the same time. Man. Well, you're doing saddles. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're the one driving nails. Nobody wants well, to see me hit my you, fingers. I didn't want you to hurt yourself on your birthday. Yeah, I appreciate that. Here's the looking out. Now I can eat my, my sandwich later. <laughs> Not have smashed fingers. All right. Now we got that nailed down. There's. I'm going to put two more nails right at the front of this, but I'm going to do that after. I'm going to do that later. Okay. And you'll see why. Okay. I hope. All right. Now we're putting Let's it back, back on the, front the, one. Move our on the saddle right stand. All right, Next thing we're going to put on is the back jockey. Can we turn it around? Can we turn the whole thing around the other way? Maybe I can get it on this camera back here. Maybe. We'll see. What's it look like, Chad? That's good. Okay, what about if we switch to the camera three? <laughs> oh, perfect. All right. Now we'll put this on. So we talked about lacing this up in the back. Do we yeah. do that afterwards? No, we aren't going to do that. What? Can I get that gift for my birthday? Yeah, later. Okay. <laughs> later. <laughs> later when we get finished See, and it doesn't what, happen. But what I was what I was explaining earlier when we were talking about lacing them together, if you lace them clear to the back, this is what it does. Now I've changed. And it will it will it changes the way the skirt's set on a horse and it will sore the horse's loins back here a lot of times. I've built saddles that they wanted them laced all the way to the back. You know, with a fancy gaucho stitch and all yeah. that stuff. And uh, two months later, they bring him back and say, that's not working. My horse is getting sore every time I ride him. Yeah, I don't like you to know? have sirloin, sore, sore loins either. Yeah, yeah. Sirloins? Sirloins. That's it. That's in that from a cow instead of a horse. <laughs> I, do uh, I do like a good sirloin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> This now, is part you guys getting... are confusing me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're putting on our back jockey. Yeah. Okay. If you'll notice right here. This is where Denny gets annoyed at me. We've got a hole in our uh, back seat button. I got a matching We've hole. We've got on a my matching back. hole here. So what I'm going to do is match those up. Now, but, is there one of the skirt? Not yet. Oh, okay. I don't, well, there might be. But anyway, if you'll notice when I put those two holes together, it sucked, it drew this uh, back jockey right up against the, the back camel, which is what we want. We'll just zoom in a little bit here, see what we can see. There we are. All right. Now I'm just gonna use a, one of these saddle screws, which is an oval headed screw, and it's got a, a little uh, countersink washer on the outside of it. And here I have a, I was showing people something they couldn't see. Well, Chad driving the cameras yeah. over there. This, this is just a regular saddle screw. It's about an inch and a quarter long or an inch and a half, I'm not sure. And uh, then we've got to, a rosette. I'm gonna just you know. so I can see on here we had a screw that was there before, but there's also a staple hole that was there. Normally, when saddle makers are putting saddles together, they hold it together with rosettes 
Or if they put Rosettes a screw... Rosettes are saddle strings. Yeah. Saddle strings. Normally, a saddle would have a set of strings on the very I back, see. on this back seat and button, and, and uh, right here. Or right up here, I mean. So there would be six strings on it. So they're pulling with saddle strings, something that the cowboy's going to use all as well. Th yeah, it goes all the way through the through the skirts and then through the tree. Okay. To the outside. Oh, through of the, the tree as well. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. That would have been a step we would have needed to do a while back. We would have had to drill holes in the tree. Well, we're not and doing that. This saddle is old and fragile, and I don't <laughs> want to do it. Old and fragile. Drill drilling like that. <laughs> but anyway. We're going to see how this works. I'm going to try and do it without a nail in there. See if I can get this screw to hold good. All right. That's pretty good. There you are. That worked out good. I think Stacy's running up with a question here. Now I'm going to turn it around. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. The question is, are you going to put new leather on the seat, or are we just going to leave it? We're going to leave it. If we would have put new leather on the seat, we would have had to take this whole uh, back panel off. Yeah, we would have had to We'd take to pull the these... binding off Yeah, and uh, then pull the seat completely off the saddle, put the seat on, stitch the seat on, and then put it back on. Then uh, probably fit a new cantle binding, because very seldom can you get the binding to fit This one's checked right. pretty bad. Yeah, but it's, it's still okay. I mean, if we would have pulled it off, we yeah. probably would have torn it up. This this is a piece that doesn't move. It's stationary, mm -hmm. so it's not going to, you know, the integrity of it's not really lost. So you can. That was just a step that we left out just because it's a production saddle. It's seen better days, and we might have done more harm to it than, than good. Yeah, maybe in the distant, distant future, we might... Uh, Put a new padded seat in the saddle. <laughs> saddle repair Distant, number two. I said. <laughs> All right. Now, we've got this side tied down over here. Can I try this side? Yeah, but I, let me explain Okay, something. I'll step out of the way and listen. We've, uh, we're going to have trouble getting it to stretch around there, which is good because we want it to fit up tight. The tighter it is, the tighter it fits against the cantle back here. So... What I'm going to do is drive this spike in a little bit in front of where that screw hole is. And then I'm going to drive it in the tree and kind of put a little pressure. Did you see how it kind of drew I that did. around? Now, the first hole that you put in there, what were you doing with that? Which first hole? What, whenever you, you had it back here and you just drove it in just a little bit, or you were driving it into the... Uh, the back jockey. Right. Okay. Right. I'm with I you. Just drove it in the back jockey. And then you pull it up in a place where you need it yeah. to be. And now I'm going to put a nail in there just to hold it. But that's the only nail. And the only reason I'm put it, putting it in there is just to hold this where it needs. You're just to kind be. of pinning. You want to like, hold that back for me? All right. Me? I'm, I'm going to jump through here. Jump through that hoop. Yeah. Don't hit your fingers. It hurts. Now, that'll stay with there until I can get the screw in. So, and then, in retrospect, we should be able to just do that and be right there. Should be huh? able to. Let's see if that works. It did. It pulls down into shape. Okay. All right. But see, that's, you want to, you want to tie one side of your back panel down and then, and then actually draw the 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 back jockey around up against that cantle. If you don't, if you just put it up against there, it's not going to be very tight. Right. You're going to have a gap back on the back. Yeah. This plus, right here is fitting tight. Plus, when you draw it around like that, it makes the back of this jockey sit down against the skirts more. Mm -hmm. Screw it. Well, do we need a dealio on there? Uh, probably. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. Not a problem. That's what I'm here for, Denny. <laughs> so we were just missing our little washer piece that will let our countersink screw sit a little bit better. All right. What am I missing? I feel like I'm not hitting the right spot. You are. Oh, you aren't missing. You aren't hitting the right spot. There you go. All right. Pull that back around there. Go forward. 
<laughs> just take it easy. Yeah. Keep going. Stop while you're ahead. Stop while you're ahead. Stop yeah. before you break it. Yeah. Well, if you go any further, this wood tree, you're liable to strip Split it. That screw wood out. Yeah. Or wood out of the deal. Okay, got our back jockey on. Well, you can see how, how tight that's fitting there now. Yeah. I and still would have liked some lacing on there. I know you would. Just for aesthetics. <laughs> you would have never seen it. it I would have looked for it. Every time I put the horse on, I would have looked at it. Look how great that lacing looks on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can say, look how look how great that screw looks on there that I just I'd put in. that screw in that saddle. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now our front jockeys. We'll probably get our front jockeys on and then the last part of it. What do we got left after that? Uh, Not much. Yeah, just putting the other rosettes on, and uh, we're going to put a couple of saddle strings on this one. All right. We may get her all constructed. We said yep. part one, but we may get her done today. Yeah. Okay. Now, you can see here, you can see where oh. this front jockey used to be, so we're, we're wanting to match that. And there's a left and a right on these jockeys. Just be sure you get the right one. Yeah, you got I think little... that's fairly self-explanatory too. All right, put the bottom of your boot towards the front. That's right. I got to have a saying for everything, otherwise I get confused. It's easily done. So we're gonna spike the front end so we can spike the front end so we can get our and... our seat jockey and our front jockey together yeah, in the same and spot. And I brought another spike just for this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it through. The front of the seat jockey, okay. and, and match it up to uh, to that. You made your uh, where you put your tie downs on. Look at that; it fits right in the groove that was there before. Well, that was pure deluxe. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> this ain't your first rodeo. <laughs> okay. So now we got spikes sticking everywhere. Yeah, and I'm going to drive a nail here and drive a nail here that will be hidden by the rosette. Okay. I'm going to let you do that while I run and get a couple more screws. You're going to let me hit my fingers. And after you do that, you saw exactly how I did this. Oh, boy. You can do the same thing on the other side. All right. We'll see I'll what happens. Right back. <laughs> All right. Nobody pointing fingers and laughing. That's not nice. He said, you wouldn't hit a man in glasses or make fun of a guy on his birthday. All right. Let's see. What you giggling about over there, Abigail? I think that's what it says. I saw it in the movie once. Well, it's got to like push all the way through that leather. I feel like I'm going to hurt myself. Oh, he wanted it. He didn't want it there. Uh oh. Now we've done it. <laughs> uh oh. Got parts falling, falling away. All right. Put our spike back in. Take this nail out. Aren't you glad you tuned in? Oh. All right, got to get this spike back in. We got to hurry up and get this in before Denny gets back. Let's see, he had it right there. Drive that back in. Wow, that was quick, Denny. I don't even have one nail in yet. <laughs> Did you run both ways? No, I'm too old to run. Oh, okay. I've been making a mess in here so far. How do you get this nail in around the spike? Good. Now take your spike out. Good grief. All right. Good oh. job. Yeah. I'm glad you came for that part. The You're first winning. The first part was not winning. Everybody's typing at their keyboard. LOL. <laughs> Look at this goofball trying to put a saddle together. You know, one time I heard of a guy hitting himself in the mouth with... With a, a hammer. hammer. <laughs> well, at least I'm. At least I can I'm. See um, where that could happen. I at least I'm winning on that part. I haven't done that yet. Squirrely. Good job. All right. Okay, that's done. I didn't beat it up too bad, did I? Nope. <laughs> nope. It looks pretty good, actually. All right. Let's do this other side. Yeah, I didn't even hit myself. I just dropped both spikes on the ground and had to put them back in. <laughs> okay, this one, 
instead of locating the front first, let's locate the back, that screw hole and this screw hole. Oh, sure. Because those have to be in the right spot. All right, where do I want them? Go up a little further. Yeah, that way. That way. That's feeling. Mm -hmm. That's feeling better. No. Wow. I don't know if I'd let you. I don't know if I'd. You hold the spike and let me hammer next time. No. <laughs> you saw me try to drive. I saw you try to drive the nail. Yeah, it looked like a. I don't even think we need a spike in. Look like a monkey trying to. Just grab a couple of nails. Hammer. All right. All right. You put one nail up here. Just one. I'm, I know. I'm holding the other one. <laughs> I didn't want to put it in my mouth. I'm going to drop it on the floor. Oh, boy. All right. Good. Now I'm going to put one here. One or here. One here. It doesn't matter. Will you, hold, will you hold that nail for me there, Denny? No. Oh. <laughs> but I'll, I'll cheer you on. <laughs> <laughs> go, go. Watch your thumb there. Here, let me hold that spike so it don't hurt you. Remember, we were talking about old and fragile. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're letting me poke fun at you on my birthday. <laughs> That's your present. Your <laughs> gift from me. All right. So we need a couple uh, rows. That's what we no, do. No. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the near side of the saddle. Correct. Right. And that's where we put our thicker, when we were making, we'd put our thicker leather and we'd put our thicker fender yes. leather on there as well, on the near side. Because yes. that's where we're getting on and off. Okay. That's well, where we'd like to get on and off. While we're at it, let's put these two front screws in. Tell me which scratch on are you using here? Uh, it's an Osborne one. It doesn't have a number on it. Uh, that one's, a, the big one's probably a six or an eight inch. The small one's probably a, a, a four inch. Let's take the guesswork out. We got tools on the wall. Might as well use them. Let's see. Do we measure the whole length of it or do we measure, the, how do they measure it? What's the whole length? The whole length of it is five. I'd call it a four inch. Okay. Well, we've got three and a quarter this way, and you put it up there, yeah. and it's five. And then we're it gonna doesn't the the size of the spikes don't matter. All right. You know, those are just two that I had handy. This one measures oh, uh, six and three quarters and four and a half. Yeah. So what size are you gonna call that? A six. A six. All right. A four and a six. The math seems perfect. Okay. Now what? This uh, right here at the front of this. Uh, seat jockey in this screw hole. I'm going to put a rosette. You saw me at work that hammer. You're not going to let me use the screw gun no more? No. Okay. You're done. <laughs> okay, I'll let you do the other side. Oh. How's that sound? Will you hold the screw for me? No. <laughs> Again. Man. No. I figure if I keep on asking, what size uh, rosettes are we using here? Uh, these are inch and a quarter. Uh, on these front ones, I'll use an inch and three quarters and an inch and a quarter. All right. A little bit farther. A little more. All right, good. I kept seeing that go down, you know. I was when watching it stops your... going down, you got to quit. <laughs> I was watching your eyes to see how big they'd get. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what do we got now? Front rosettes? Yeah, but this saddle didn't have it, but we're going to put oh, this we didn't on. Have... on the off side, which is the right-hand side of the saddle when you're sitting on it. We're going to, this is called a rig catcher. It'll go right here. Our rig would be our girth. Yeah. Or Strap. cinch. Or cinch. You're from Texas. All, all these Texas guys say girth. Everyone um, else says it's a cinch. Okay. <laughs> to put our cinch on? Yeah. So it's not yeah, well, slapping on the horse? Well, when you take the saddle off. Mm -hmm. When I take the saddle off? Yeah. Then you got to have a place to lay. Either you throw it over the saddle or you can hang it. I'll up. usually put it up so I don't have to drag it all, and then it comes and whacks exactly. me in the knees. And... Exactly. hate it when that happens. But here... 
I'm not going to pay any attention to this old screw hole. I'm just going to put a nail about right here. Where you like it. Where I like it. Where it'll fit good in the in the front of this. Because uh, it didn't have one before. So rocky. Right. We're restyling it. Right. So now we've got now, a, what'd you inch and three quarter? Yes, but we're going to put a, a string on the front of this saddle. Okay, so we're going to put a little. So we're going to put a, a, a clip and D. D clip. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere. D clip right there. Yeah. <clears throat> So that's actually, I don't know if you can see it. It's got a clip on the back side, but then a, just a little D-ring on the front. Yeah. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to use this spike. Locate to everything. To locate it. Uh-oh. Now you look like me trying to put something together. Drop it all on the ground. Are you not going through the center of the other one? I'm going through the hole. In oh, that's the plan anyway. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to tack that there while I drive this nail in. And that's that's a big nail. That's an ugly nail. All right. We'll go. We'll get a prettier nail. Yeah. Got that there now. Now we can I'm run gonna our one, I'm going to go one step further and put another nail in. Mash it flat. Yep. <clears throat> and another thing, you want this to be sitting fairly perpendicular to your saddle. Do I want this D to be the same as where this other deal is? What's that? Do I want these two things to run uh, on? That doesn't matter. That'll be movable anyway. Okay. Well, you're just going to put a screw through it. I'm going to line it up anyway. Good job. I appreciate that. All right, birthday boy. All right. You want to hold it for me yet? No. Okay. I thought I'd ask. No. Your gift is the, the privilege to do this. Spend time with Denny. <laughs> Stop. I good, did. Good I was job. done. Very good. That looks really great with those different size of rosettes on there and adds a nice little. Yeah. Yeah, you always want to, to graduate those a little bit. I've tried to graduate once. <laughs> It didn't work out. Well, it did work out. I they, can tell. I think they're more sick of me having at the, having me at the school. All right. Now on the other side, this is a latigo catcher. This one, it's got a slot facing this one. So the other one we had a slot that went up and down, so that our the buckle tongue in your, right. your girth cinched, Denny. <laughs> All right. And we have these shapes, right? Yeah. We just are, clicked. We clicked them out here. We got those shapes. If you can. If you don't want to cut them yourself, we can click them out for you. Yeah. All right. And here again, I'm just going to place this where it looks good on this front seat jockey. And tack it in with the nail. I want it to be straight up and down with... Okay, but we need to... You need what? Another D-clip. Oh. There you are. You want you got some more nails? Nope. Do you want some? Yes, I want one. Okay. Four or two. It depends on how many I draw. <laughs> get three or four then. Lining up the hole to the hole, right? Right. You put that hammer too far away. Alright. There's your two nails. Look at that, just shoves one in his teeth there. See, that's why I didn't slobber on him earlier. <laughs> oh, nice catch. Do you got a screw set up yet? No, I don't. Okay, I can do that part. When you're driving these nails in, you gotta be sure you go into the tree because you're pretty close to the front, the, the front end of that tree. Uh -huh. So you'll have to angle them where they actually so we're putting hit that, the tree. Yeah, we're putting it back in like this right. to get to it. Right. Nice. Okay. Did you get me another? No, you didn't. All right. Okay, you're on your own. You're on your own, Bucky. <laughs> I heard that a time or two. <laughs> well, how many more rosettes we got left to put on? Uh, one on each side. Am I running any more screws? Huh? Am I running any more screws in the metal rosettes? Yeah. I just, I, oh, okay, good. I was just—I didn't want to give you your last chance to hold one no, for me. No. 
<laughs> oh no, there's more chances. Okay. Whew. You're in a lot. Okay, good job. Now before we go any further and before I forget it, forget to show you folks, we're gonna put our screws up here in the front. Where's that at? Well, oh, in our you. in our saddle uh, yeah. uh, skirt. What, what I'm gonna do, what you wanna do is kind of bend this skirt around where it fits tight. Mm -hmm. See, we've got a little gap here and a little gap here. Let's spin it just a little bit and I'll, let me get this other camera. There we go. Now we can, I think we can but see her you, pretty good. If you see this gap here, yeah. we're going to try and get rid of it. Okay. So I'm going to drive this spike in. And then, after I get it in, I'm going to turn it where I'm going into the to this tree. Yeah, you can see it already sucked up there. Hopefully it'll suck it up even more. I, once you start screwing, now you just stood right in the way. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> okay, right. now am I in the way? No, you're not now. Okay. Now I'm just carefully going to draw that around. But you see what, what we ended up with there? Everything's tight there. There's yep. not a big gap. Yeah. You mean you do anything with that screw? Nope. Put, put the wool back over its eyes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We'll do the hammer and the screwdriver first. Everybody's being quiet today. That gives it a more pleasing look too when you when you draw that around. It makes it look like it's supposed to be that way. So just you and I hanging out here today, or is there anybody that's still watching? We just find out that uh, Nick and Michael live across town from each other in Farmington. Hi. They didn't realize they knew each other. They're not watching from the same YouTube stream. Well, they are watching the same YouTube stream, but right. not from the same computer. <laughs> Nick and Mike, is that who it is? Yeah. All right, you guys, see what we did? Nick and Mike, <laughs> see what we've got there? It makes it look pretty nice, doesn't it? Way to personalize that, Denny. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> All right, now let's turn it around. Uh, you're, you're bound to be a TV personality yet. <laughs> okay, now if you see here, oh, I got there used spots. to be a couple of rosettes. Yeah, let's, I don't, oh, I see. There used, you can kind of see where there are some holes there. I don't know if you can or not. Kind of hard to see up underneath the seat. Well, we pretty much can put a hole wherever we want to back there. All right. So, Michael says he's still watching. Oh, good. Yeah, I but Nick hate. is gone. <laughs> Nick is headed over to Michael's house. I'm going to put a saddle together. All right, now I'm going to put two nails in this just to hold it down flat. Oh, what forgot, happened? Forgot my deep clip. It's not too late yet. Not too late yet. It still wouldn't be. We're going to spin that saddle around on you. Can't see where you're at anymore. Hold that. All right. You trying to fit it? Yeah, trying to get it where I need that spike. All right. I think we're up there. You're right there. All right. What am I doing? Oh, I'm gonna drive that in. Yeah, just just. I was enough. gonna I was gonna hold it and let you hit it. Just enough to hold. That's what kind of guy I am. That's the kind of trust I have in you, Denny. For now, if I hit you, you would lose trust. <laughs> Real quick. That's one thing that could be lost in a hurry. Nice tactics. All right. Nice. I need another screw set up, don't I? Yep. Now, am I using shorter screws on this? No. Okay. That one? Yep. Okay. And it's going to go through one of the small rosettes. Through a small rosette. Okay. Thank you. All right, let me step through here. So I'm just putting my screw head right in there and I'm gonna go through the D clip, through the up, the bigger rosette. Now, am I screwing into the tree still? Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the idea. The tree should be good. 
If not, it's going to be screwed. It? <laughs> if not, it's going to be screwed down to our saddle stand. All right, that looks good. Did good. Now we need to do this other side. Now our saddle's permanently glued, <laughs> screwed, to, screwed, screwed to our stand. Yeah, to the stand. <laughs> Bruce, no. That's that's another thing. When you're doing this, you always when you're all done, you definitely want to make sure you don't have any nails or anything poking through the tree. All right. What do you do if you end up stripping a hole out on the tree? Good idea. I was going to talk about that. Okay. Well, uh, it's a great point to do that. Wooden matchsticks are great. Put a little Elmer's glue on the wooden matchstick and stick it in there. In the hole? Get, yeah, in the hole. If you got more room, stick another one in there. Break them off. Wow. The hole's full. How about a toothpick? Toothpicks work. They aren't quite as big as a matchstick. How or are, if you don't have that, just whittle a piece of stick. Go out on the tree and cut yeah, one off. Yeah. How about just a wooden dowel? Wooden dowel's all right, but you'll have to whittle it down sharp to well, get into that hole. That's a great time to practice on your yeah. whittling skills. Yeah. But matchsticks, if you're going to be in the saddle business, get a box of wooden matches. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to be lighting them. You're going to be sticking them in your saddle. Yeah. All right. Let's put that Work other rosette it. on there. Yeah. Don't forget your D. Yeah, I remembered this time. <laughs> I was looking out for you. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's going together good. I think Larissa will be impressed. And that's Especially so she didn't do, have to do any of the work. That's what we're trying to do, right? Is impress impress her? Larissa? Yeah. You want these uh, to be about symmetrical, but they're, you know, where these were, I'm going to call good. Here, hold that while I can go get the hammer that I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to hold it for you. No, get your hand off there. I'm going to hold it. Don't hit me. That a boy. Whew. Good job. Aren't we all lucky? <laughs> Had to listen to me scream like a girl. I noticed on the front part of this, we had an old nail that was kind of sticking out here on, on the front. You can't see it. Is there anything we can get to drive that back in there just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Use your... There you go. A handy dandy spike. Just like a nail set. <laughs> well, I, I noticed you didn't so, have one. I guess if you did that, it could blunt your spike out there a little bit. I've had that spike for 30 years. I've pried with it. I've done what I just did with it. I, I'm not an Osborne salesman, but that's a good tool. Yeah. That's a good tool. Well, I can't it's even been, tell where you... you can tell it's it's bent a little bit. I pried a little too hard on it one time. But it's been around a couple saddles, yeah. it looks like. And I've I've driven the end of it and it the the shank didn't ever come through that plastic. Yeah. It's a good tool. All right. He says I've I've beat the I've beat the crap out of him and it's still going good. What's that say? Oh. <laughs> Stacy says sixty two minutes. That's all right. They that's can hang how long it. we've been at it. That's how long we've been goofing around here. I already had a screw. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's all right. You're reeling in on the last couple times that you're going to be able to hold a screw if you want. You ready yet? I'm ready. Oh, to hold the screw? No. I'm ready. I'm just ready for you to do this. Quit talking about it and do it. Quit asking me if I want to hold this through. Okay. Good job. Okay, this saddle is back together as much as it was when we first got a hold of it. But let's put a couple of saddle strings on. All right. Last couple of steps here. So if you're still with us, hang on. And that's what we use the D-clips for. To hang on? Put these strings oh. on. So how are we gonna? You gonna got your bleed knot All knife? Right, this is a bleed knife. Uh, these strings. I always like the outside of this. This string is about to. It's about four, four and a half or five feet long. Yeah. Uh, but there's no set rule. But I always like the outside string to be just a bit longer than the inside string. Just, so your top, your top string. Yeah, it just seems to be a little more have a little more eye appeal. Now we did some dog collars and had you in here and we were looking at how to use that bleed that bleed knot knife. Excuse me. So if you need to if you need to see how that tool works, it's a great little tool to do a bleed knot with. Yeah. The best part about this tool is it leaves that to when you're using this Latigo leather, it leaves that hole open where you don't have to pry around to open it again. There you go. 
I'm gonna put one on the front side. Yeah, one of the short ones on the front. All right. You want to do it? Nope. <laughs> nope. I haven't messed up yet. Don't need to start trying on something. I, I'm certainly stabbed myself. Uh-oh. It's all right. It's a great Osborne tool. Didn't even hurt it. <laughs> all right, there's you that. Slide it through there. there. Again, just a hair longer Ma on the outside. Making this top one. Making this top one right. Making this one a little bit longer when we pull it down here to the end. If you can see it, it's just yeah. just a hair longer. If it's not, that that's stylistically, it's, yeah. that's what you're achieving there. Yeah. Slide that through there. And then the only real other, really other thing that we made for this that would be any different is we cut some new uh, latigos. To be yeah. to go on the stirrup leather hobbles. Yeah. Well, we did some stirrup leather hobbles, and then we did some oh, uh, latigos, latigos yeah. and our cinch, our back cinch, and uh, our front. Yeah. Our girth, our front girth. All right. So here's the uh, stirrup hobble that we have. Let's put a stirrup back on it. All right, let me move this camera down just a little bit. Jeffrey. Oh, you're on this one, aren't you? So just that Blevins that we put on there makes it pretty simple. Yep. So am I putting on this on the front or on buckle to the front of the back actually i like it so that the the strap is on the inside facing away that way when you're riding through the weeds or the brush or something it... let's see how it's facing back that way mm -hmm. there we go ever use otter wax otter wax we had some here for a while. It's pretty good stuff. I, I can't say that we care. I don't, I don't know that it's any different than just a different type of oil. Yeah. It'd be a little pricey. I know the stuff that we had was a little bit more expensive than normal stuff. Those feel nice with that saddle soap on. Yeah, but, and I would do it again right now. All right. I would go over the whole saddle with saddle soap. So there, there you go. Did you get a picture of it before? Did I get a picture of it before? Yeah. That? I, I got the first video. I was going to say, we should show the comparison of the... Where were you at before we tore this down, Abigail? Huh? I said, where were you at before we tore, the, tore this down? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see, but this saddle soap leaves kind of a wax finish on it. Makes it look good. The, the neat foot oil leaves it kind of grainy looking. But if you go back over it with this saddle soap... Get you a little shine on there. Yeah. Not a glossy shine, but it, it looks pretty good. Here, you got some extra. There you are. But that's about it. So we'd go through and we'd saddle soak the whole thing. Uh, of course, we have our, our other latigo sitting on the table, and we'd put that on our, our rigging uh, here just to hold tight. And then your rider or whoever will have their, uh, their cinch to put on the other side. That's about it. Any other, any other questions or anything like that? We got some leaving a lot of goobers around there. Oh, well, saddle so. But we appreciate you guys joining in with this journey. I know it's been fun for me, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well. And it gets you where you, maybe you're not so scared to mess with the saddle. It's not wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. Yeah. See, you've done it. I, I can say that I have done it now. Let's move this back up and we'll zoom in. You can kind of see. See that saddle a little bit better. What do you think of that? You can see that gloss that's on there. Helps those paint splatters that we had on there show up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes them stand out. Makes those paint splatters look better. So if you guys have any other questions, anything like that, come on in here, Denny. you got to be proud of your fine saddle that you've... <laughs> 
does look pretty good. It looks a lot better than it did before. We'll find some pictures of it that we had before, but we appreciate you guys joining us with this journey. Uh, we'll find something else to do on Wednesday. Next Wednesday, Kevin's going to be doing a swivel knife uh, video. It's going to be more of kind of the style of this, would you say? Kevin's swivel probably, knifing probably. is a little bit different than, than yours for yeah. Sheridan style. So join us on that. It'll be Wednesday at 11 as well. And then we're going to find some other things to do on Friday for these videos. I think the next one we do ought to be hand stitching. You want to do an all. Hand stitching with an awl. I know I've used it before and all I did was poke myself. That's all what I know. So we appreciate you guys joining us. And until next time, we'll see you later.